If you've got yourself a skeleton or a zombie spawner, let's build the easiest and also most efficient farm. If you want to build this along with me, you will need everything right here in this chest. And the reason we have kelp for this farm is actually because we're going to make it so that these mobs only take one hit to kill. They're on half a heart when you get to them, but also you can AFK right next to where you kill them. Spawners in Minecraft only work if you're within 16 blocks of the spawner. And so by using this method, you can actually be the correct distance and the mobs will only be at half a heart. So you don't have to take a bunch of time to take them out. So when starting off, what I would do is take one of your slabs and put it on top of the spawner. This will prevent spawning on top of the spawner. And then also make sure you have some torches and place them around to stop the zombies from spawning just for now. Now, as for the spawning room, you only want two blocks above the spawner and you also want two blocks below the spawner. So we're gonna dig out two blocks below as well as once you get two blocks above, fill this ceiling in just like this. Now for the side dimensions of this, we wanna make sure we have four blocks in every direction. So right here we have one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and then one, two, three, here is the fourth block. So we'll make a wall right here. So in conclusion, once you're finished, your room should look like this, where you have two blocks above the spawner, two blocks below the spawner, and then four blocks out in every single direction. Once you've done that, I would just place a couple of torches around here just to make sure no zombies spawn. And you're gonna take your water and go to any corner, it doesn't matter, and place water all along the corner just like this. As long as you have two water buckets, you'll be able to accomplish this. And then dig out one block on the wall that the water does not flow to. So in this one block channel we've built, on either end of it, place one bucket of water. And at the opposite end, there should be one bare block. What you're going to do is break this block and then dig two more blocks forward, three blocks long. So it should look like this. So what we're going to do is leave this block just how it is, dig down this block and place a wall of any kind and then right here place your block of soul sand we're going to create a little bubble elevator here and then on this block place one sign and on this block place another sign so it should look just like this if you're looking at it from the side here's your view so right here you can break this block to get your water flowing and then we're going to break this block right in front of us as we're standing on the soul sand just like this. So once you've done that, we're going to dig up 25 blocks above us. Now, once we're up here, we're going to dig out six more blocks just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure when you dig out these six blocks, they are facing away from the farm. You don't want them facing towards the farm. You want them away from the farm. So what we're going to do is place a sign at the end of this little hallway and then right above the hole, right here, place your water bucket. And then once you're finished, go down this little water hole again. So once you're down here, place your kelp on the soul sand and bone meal the heck out of it. Now, if you're on bedrock edition, you may need to temporarily replace the uh, soul sand with a different block. And here we go. So when you've used all of your bone meal, break the bottom of kelp block. And if you go into the soul sand, it should automatically take you up without you even having to do anything. So once you're right here on this dry block, dig down 23 blocks total. Now, it doesn't have to be 23 blocks, it can be less, but 23 blocks will make it so that the mobs, once they fall, only have half a heart and will die instantly after you hit them once. So once you're down here, you can dig yourself out a small room, doesn't really matter the size you make this. So right where this hole is, we're gonna dig out one block below it, as well as these two blocks, and this is where your chest is gonna be. Make sure you place your hopper going directly into the chest, just like that, and we can dig out a little bit of extra space. Now take some of the blocks and place them just like this, and if you want, you can also place slabs underneath them just to prevent any of these mobs from hurting you. And if you want to be a little extra, you can place one piece of carpet just like this because sometimes XP orbs get a little bit stuck in hoppers, but if you're standing right here, it shouldn't be a big deal. Optionally as well, if you're planning on AFKing for a long time, you can dig out a little bit of extra room here and place some more chests, really as many as you want. Now, when you're in this room, I would recommend placing at least one torch to prevent mob spawning, and I would build yourself a way out of here. Either you can use ladders, you can make another bubble elevator with kelp, or you can just pick a staircase to the overworld, which is probably the easiest. So once you've finished here, you can actually go to this wall right here and just dig forward a couple of blocks and you'll be in the farm. Once you're back in here, 
break all of the torches so that we can get zombies to start spawning or skeletons because if you have a skeleton spawner this will work just the same you want to make sure this place is completely dark and the zombies will start to spawn now what happens is the zombie will go up the bubble elevator get pushed all the way over here he'll fall down the hole and be killed in one hit so if you want, you can just AFK here for a while and come back and hit the zombies every once in a while. Or you could just set up an auto clicker or click yourself and just wait here for the zombies to fall. And then you can take them out as they come. The slabs are also useful because they keep the babies away. <laughs> so anyways, there you have it. Pretty much the easiest zombie slash skeleton XP farm that works well and is also very efficient because you can just AFK right next to the farm and it also takes them down to half a heart. Now obviously you can skip all the bubble elevator work and just make them drop down a hole, but you either have to AFK in a different area than you kill them, or you have to just wait and it's not the most fun. But anyways, if you found this useful or helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or the farm doesn't work for you, let me know down in the comments below. This should work for pretty much all versions of Minecraft and you shouldn't have any complications, but I'll try to answer any questions you have. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.